the e-learning space is a huge space. At our core, we are experts at test preparation. Making it fun to practice for your exams, specifically exams that involve multiple choice questions, it's, you know, that's the area that we're good at. We've applied a concept called gamification to that process and gamification is the use of gamer-like elements in non-game contexts. And there are two core parts of the EduFocal service. One, a leaderboard, and two, an experience point system. Students want to win cool prizes. They start at level one in all the subjects that we offer and to level up, they need to answer their questions correctly. While they're leveling up, they can win prizes, whether it's a movie ticket, food vouchers, phone credit, whatever it is. And I think that's the cultural aspect of it. Jamaicans love to win stuff. The biggest part of our service is the competitive aspect of EduFocal. You know, at 10 or 11 years old, kids love to compete with each other. That's a fact, right? And just seeing their names on the leaderboard, just seeing how, how much experience points they've accumulated, is a huge deal for them. The GSAT exam is the main exam for most of us. It determines which high school you go. And the high school can determine where you're going in life. If you go to college, you get a good job, you live a good life. Well, it's a competition and anything can happen. If you get a good grade, you earn points. If you get a bad grade, you lose points. And I don't want to lose any points. We have seen improvement in the children's academic performance. Those students who have been on it for a little while from early in September, October, we have seen them competing, we have seen them getting very good grades. Some students were getting below average, for example, in social studies and language. Now they are getting 95 and upwards on using this program. There are a couple of challenges uh, in this market. Um, firstly, you're seeing hundreds and hundreds of new edtech apps popping up every month, so that's making it harder for companies to stand out from the crowd. Secondly, schools have traditionally been quite resistant to change uh, and they face uh, uh, limited budgets, so that can make scaling up a business quite tough. Uh, and finally, investors still tend to view edtech as quite risky, so there's a bit of a shortage of venture capital. Any focal costs, you know, it's 1,500 Jamaican dollars per month, um, equates to about 15 US dollars. For us, it's about making it affordable because yes, we're a for-profit business, but business is also about doing good. It has been an amazing journey and I'm really, really excited about what I do. I get up every single morning happy about, you know, the contribution that I'm making in Jamaica and eventually the contribution that I'll be making in other countries, um, you know, across the world.